want to take the next couple of shirim to speak about a topic which anybody thanking Hashem when things look bad has to realize. We all think, and justly so, that we have difficult nisyonos. There are very few people out there who don't think that Hashem has not given them a special challenge to deal with in life. And some challenges might intrinsically feel and appear more difficult than others. And those people who have those challenges might think, nobody understands what I'm going through. If anybody understood what I'm going through, they would stand up for me. They realize I'm going through, I'm going through such a hard time. Hashem is giving me such hard challenges. And I'm trying my best to stand up to them. So I just like to take the next couple of classes and give you a few examples of um, missionos that I've seen myself and I've seen people deal with them and try to give a little bit of light how we could have a fresh perspective and be happy even amongst the most trying circumstances. And the first one I'm going to talk about is special needs children. First of all, the special need children. It might be Down Down syndrome. It might be mental retardation, light, heavy. It might be they have some sort of communication disorder. It might be whatever it might be. Whatever it might be. This child is not what they call normal or mainstream or whatever it is. But, of course, Svarim say, tell us that these are neshamas that are very, very high, very, very special. And the parents of such children, and especially the, um, especially the autistic children, um, it's well known that they have very, very special job in this world, these children, to fix things up. And the, I believe, if, we could, if I could say so, that the technique that the methodology that one can use in order not to get depressed, not to feel down, not to feel frustrated, all of these feelings which are extremely negative to our service of Akash Baruch and our divine service. The way to do it is to appreciate what you have by looking into your life and seeing how incredibly accurate and on the mark Hashem was by giving you this design. We often don't understand ourselves. We don't understand what our mission is. We don't understand what we're doing here. But when a person looks at their Nisoyen and sees, this was tailor-made for me. Hashem wants me to work on something in my personality. Maybe it's patience. Maybe it's sensitivity. Maybe it's um, acceptance faith, bitachon, whatever it might be, when we look into ourselves and we see that this is tailor-made for us, tailor-made the soyin just for us in order to um, in order to get a better connection with ourselves and Hashem. And Hashem sent us this test to grow. Then if we do that, we can hopefully Appreciate the wonderful gifts that we can ha- that we have. I have a close Talmud. He should be Gesundz. He's only ninety. His name is Shmuel Yellen. He's from Australia, and he had a Down child. Um, he was Nifter a little over a year ago. His name was Moshe. He used to come every day to the Tfilas, and he looked at this child as such a gift, and he had so much pain when the child passed away. And this is really the right perspective we have to have. Number one, to look at every single child as a gift. And number two, to try to understand why did Hashem give us this gift. If I give you a new car, and you need a new car, and you'll appreciate it. You go to work, you go to yeshiva, go to shul, whatever you might be doing with your car. You'll appreciate it. If you know how to use the gift, or you know what the need is for the gift, then you will use it well. But if you don't know how to use the gift, then you're going to have a hard time with it. So Hashem should help us with our children to understand that each and every one of them is a gift. And 
this is something which we really, really can appreciate. We think about it. We have to think about it. And thank you, Hashem. My Rebbe, Rav Ari Finkel, the father of the Yemen Finkel, he told me once, he said, if you don't think about Birkas Hashakar, you just won't appreciate life that Hashem has given you. Your eyes and your feet and your walking and your clothing you know, and your gender. Um, all of these things that Hashem has given us. We have to be appreciative. Men should be thankful they're men. Their women should be thankful they're women. You look around the world today, people are so confused. Be thankful that you're a woman. Yeah, Be thankful for a man that Hashem made you that way. Because that was his choice. Hashem chose to give you such a neshama. And of course it was a very accurate choice. Hashem should help us to appreciate and understand everything we have in mankind. Today.